If you're going to lift the limits of love, you have to start, first of all, with you. Because you have limited yourself by certain things that you have inside of you. We all have issues in our life that hinder us from loving other people well. In fact, Jesus defined this in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 as he was talking about relationships. And look at what he said about how we hinder ourselves in relating to other people. Matthew 7 verses 3 and 4. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? Jesus says, in our relationships, we have a tendency to project onto other people the issues that are really going on with ourselves. And he says, you and I, we all have this tendency to pick out the speck in someone else and say, I can't love you because of that issue in your life. And the reality is we have this massive plank in our own life, this massive area of dysfunction, brokenness in our own life that is, is in reality keeping us from loving other people well. And many, many times when you feel as though you can't love someone or you can't love someone well, the issue is really not with them. The issue is with you. The issue is with us. It's something that's going on inside of us. That something may be the fact that we're just deceived about ourselves. We haven't stopped to think about what our own problems are, what our own issues are. And sadly, there are a lot of people that go through their whole life experience and never do very much self-awareness, self-analysis about their own personal issues, their own struggles in life. Sometimes it's related to the fact that we have some hurts that we've never resolved in relationships. We have some wounds that we're carrying around inside of us from perhaps betrayals of the past or woundedness from other situations or rejections that we've experienced. And so it limits us from loving other people now because those things are still inside of us. They're the plank in our own eye keeping us from really loving other people well. For some of us, we form judgments about people unfair judgments about them, or we're still carrying prejudices inside of us. And it's a filter through which we look at other people and we, we don't love them well because the issue is not with them. The issue is actually with us. We've got the problem. And until we're willing to acknowledge the fact that maybe we're carrying something around inside of us that is affecting how we view and how we relate to other people, unless we're willing to acknowledge that and ask God to help us with that, then we're going to be stuck with a lid on our love. We will not be able to love well because we have issues that we're not resolving.